Hello everyone, in this video, I will be discussing about electrical installation and maintenance. The first, MELC, which is LO1, prepare electrical tools and materials for the task. So I hope that you're ready. So let us start. Welcome to today's class. For our today's agenda, first, you must be able to identify the different electrical tools and materials. Second, prepare a list of electrical tools and materials for a specific job. And lastly, listen attentively and participate in the class discussion. So let us first define tools. Tools are handheld devices which is made in order for us to work faster, easier, and safer. In every occupation, there are different set of tools to be used to perform a particular task or job. Each tool must be used properly so that it can serve its purpose. Remember to use tools accordingly so that it will not get broken easily. The first of the tools to be used in electrical installation and maintenance is the screwdriver screwdrivers these are tools made of steel hardened and tempered at the tip it is used to loosen or tighten screws with slotted heads this comes in various shapes and sizes the standard screwdriver the blade tip is wedge shaped and resembles a negative sign this is used to drive screws with a single slot head. Phillips screwdriver. This has a cross tip resembling a positive sign. This is used to drive screws with cross slot heads. Stubby screwdriver. It comes in either standard or Phillips screwdriver with short shank or blade and a shortened handle used to turn screws in tight spaces where standard screwdrivers cannot be used. Allen screwdriver. This could be in the shape of a screwdriver or in this example, a wrench. Its function is to drive screws with hexagonal slot head. Hammers. The second of the list of group of tools to be used in electrical installation and maintenance. These are tools used in driving or pounding and pulling out nails. This can either be made of hard steel, wood, and even plastic. Claw Hammer This tool is primarily used for driving nails into wood or any other object as well as in pulling out nails. Mallet It is a kind of hammer often made of rubber or sometimes wood. It is smaller than a ball or beetle and usually has a relatively large head. Ball peen hammer. 
this hammer is also known as the machinist hammer. It is a type of pinning hammer used in metal working. It has two heads, one flat and the other called the pin or the rounded. Third in the list of set of tools used in electrical, installation, and maintenance is the plier. Pliers are made from metal with insulators in the handle and are commonly used for cutting, twisting, bending, holding, and gripping wires and cables. Combination pliers, also known as the lineman's pliers. This is used for gripping, holding, and cutting electrical wires and cables and even small nails. These are usually used by linemen in doing heavy tasks. Side cutting pliers. This type of plier is used for cutting fine, medium, and big wires and cables. Long nose pliers. This is used for cutting and holding fine wires. This can reach tight space or small opening where other pliers cannot reach. It is also used in making terminal loops of copper wires. Now what will follow is what we call the wire stripper. This tool is used for removing insulation of medium-sized wires ranging from gauge 10 to gauge 16. Another important tool, electrician's knife. This is used by the lineman to remove insulation of wires and cables in low and high voltage transmission lines. Electric drill. A small drilling machine with a check capacity of 1.4 inch to 3.8 inch. It is used in making holes on metal sheets and concrete walls. The hacksaw. This tool is used to cut metal conduit and armored cable. So that was all about the different tools. Now let's move forward to the materials. Materials are developed and constructed for a special purpose such as to control the flow of current in an electric circuit. Also, it is used to carry electrical current from the source to the load or current consuming apparatus. Materials are also used to hold and secure wires to its fixtures inside and outside houses and buildings. And lastly, materials are used to protect the house, buildings, appliances, and instruments from any destruction and damage. Convenience Outlet It is a device that as a convenient source of electrical energy for current consuming appliances. It is where the mail plug of an appliance is inserted and usually fastened on the wall or connected in an extension cord. It may be single, duplex, triplex, or multiplex and could be surface type or flush type. Mail plug. It is a device inserted to a convenience outlet to conduct electric current. A flat cord is attached to it on one end and the other end is connected to a current consuming instrument or appliance. Lamp. 
lamp holder, a device that hold and protect the lamp, and are also called as lamp sockets or receptacles. These come in many design and sizes. They are classified as flush hanging and surface types. Switch, a device that connects and disconnects the flow of electric current in a circuit. There are many shapes, designs, and types, and they are classified as hanging, flush, and surface types. Use, it is a circuit protective device that automatically blows and cut the current when there is overload or short circuit. Circuit breaker. A protective device that is used to manually cut the current when there is trouble in the circuit or when there is a need to fix the electrical wirings in homes and buildings. Conduit also known as pipes. This electrical material is used as the passage of wires for protection and insulation. This could be rigid metallic, flexible metallic, rigid non-metallic, and flexible non-metallic. Clamps. This is an electrical material used to hold and anchor electrical conduits in its proper position. Connector. This is used to attach metallic or non-metallic conduit to the junction or utility boxes. So that ends our lesson for today. I hope that you have learned something valuable in this video. In our next video, we will be talking about MELC's LO2 Request Appropriate Electrical Supplies, Materials, and Tools Applicable to a Specific Job. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sir D. And if you have any questions regarding this topic, or would like to learn more about other related topics to please comment down below thank you everyone and have a great day